Hi everyone, welcome to Tennisshare channel. If you're moving from iPhone to Android and need your WhatsApp chats to come with you, I've got two super reliable ways to make it happen. Both work for most iPhones and Android phones. So let's jump right in. Method 1. Move WhatsApp data using Smart Switch. If your Android phone is still brand new or you don't mind resetting it, this is the official way. If you've already set up your Android phone and don't want to erase it, skip ahead to next method, where you can transfer your data without resetting your device. You can search factory data reset in your setting app if you don't find. Then tap reset and confirm to erase all your data. Once your Android phone is reset, on your iPhone, go to WhatsApp setting, then chats. Tap move chats to Android, then tap start to prepare your data. Now reset your Android phone and go through setup. When you reach copy apps and data, tap next. Install or update smart switch and agree to the terms. Choose iPhone as your source. Connect both devices with a cable. Tap trust on your iPhone and make sure WhatsApp is checked in the data list. Tap transfer, sign in with your Google account and just follow the steps. Then install the WhatsApp app on your Android. The WhatsApp transfer page will pop up automatically. If your iPhone isn't detected, just restart the WhatsApp transfer and try again. When everything finishes, continue set up your Android phone. Once it's done, open WhatsApp on your Android, verify your number, and your full chat history will load right in. If your iPhone doesn't show up the first time, just restart the WhatsApp transfer page and try again. Method 2. Transfer WhatsApp data with iCare Phone Transfer. All right, now let's look at another way. Using iCare Phone Transfer. This tool is designed for WhatsApp and makes backing up and restoring chat simple. If you already set up your Android or you don't want to wipe anything, this is the faster and easier option. Download iCare Phone Transfer on your computer. The link is below. Connect your iPhone and Android with cables. Then launch iCare Phone Transfer Choose WhatsApp, set your iPhone as the source, and your Android phone as the destination. Then, click Transfer at the bottom. You might see a prompt asking you to turn on USB debugging on your Android. Here's how to do it. Open Settings on your Android. Scroll down and tap About Phone. Tap Software Information, then find Build Number and tap it several times until it says Developer Mode is on. Go back to Settings, open Developer Options, scroll down and turn on USB debugging. Back in iCare phone, you might get a prompt asking if you want to back up your Android data. If WhatsApp isn't installed on your Android yet, just tap continue. Your iPhone WhatsApp data will start backing up. Just be patient here. When it's finished, you'll need to verify your WhatsApp account. Select your country code, enter your phone number, and tap verify. iCare phone will then generate the transferable data. Choose what you want to move. Hit continue and you're all set. Next, go to your Android phone and download WhatsApp from the Play Store. Once installed, open it up. Choose your language and log in with your phone number. Tap yes, then enter the six digit code to complete verification. Now it's time to restore your WhatsApp data. Tap restore and then select. I used an encryption key instead at the bottom. It'll ask for a 64 digit encryption key, but don't worry. There's an easier way. Just click one click key filling on iCare phone transfer. Done. Tap next and your WhatsApp data will start restoring. Once it's complete, tap next again to check the results. All your messages and photos have been successfully restored. And that's it. That's the complete process of using iCare phone transfer to move WhatsApp from iPhone to Android. Pretty simple, right? No factory reset needed like the old methods. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more smart transfer tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.